We all know what a VPN is, but do you know how it's different from Smart DNS? Well, let's get down to the brass tacks and figure it out, shall we? After watching this video, you'll have a crystal clear idea of what a Smart DNS is and how it's different from a VPN, aka Virtual Private Network. Say if you're in Australia and you want to access Netflix, so open up a web browser and type in netflix.com. In a normal connection, it would redirect you to your regional catalogue, which in this case is Netflix Australia. But say if I wanted to watch the catalogue of Netflix America, I can't do that with a normal connection, so what would I do? Well the first thing I'd think of is using VPN to overcome geo restrictions. I'd use a US based VPN to gain access to Netflix America. This for the most part works and is box standard. Because you're using a VPN, all of your data is encrypted, making your streaming really slow. So a VPN is not the ideal choice while streaming videos. Well, what's a better option? Well, it's something called Smart DNS. To understand that, we'd have to understand what a DNS or domain name server is first. It's easier for us humans to remember domains like Netflix or Hulu, but computers on the other hand only understand IP addresses. A DNS server is the bridge between us and computers that connects the domains and the IP addresses. Consider a phone book with names as domains and phone numbers as IP addresses. So basically a DNS server is just like a phone book. Consider the same scenario where I'm in Australia trying to access the Netflix US catalog but with a smart DNS instead. Now this, unlike a VPN, wouldn't change my IP address or encrypt the data so every connection that I make is high speed just like a regular connection. But the cool thing about Smart DNS is when you're accessing video streaming sites like Netflix, it would change the DNS server, aka the phone book, from Australia to US. So instead of the Australian DNS server, it would redirect the case specific website to the DNS server in America. Now since Netflix is seeing you from the same DNS server in America, it would grant you access to the US catalog. This will let you bypass the geo restrictions without slowing down the stream, unlike a VPN. If you're using a VPN, it would change your IP address and push all the traffic to an encrypted tunnel. Since all the traffic goes through an encrypted tunnel, your video streaming would be a lot slower. Not to forget, those VPNs are a bit expensive and rather hard to set up on routers and media streaming devices like PS4 and Apple TV. Smart DNS, on the other hand, doesn't change your IP address or encrypt your traffic, which means your video streaming will be a lot faster and it's cheaper to set up on every device, including routers and media streaming devices. So, which one's better, a VPN or a Smart DNS? Well, that isn't the right question. The right question is, which one's better for what situation? Like say, if I'm at an airport and using the Wi-Fi, the best bet would be use a VPN because it's a lot more private and secure. But if I want to kick back and stream some Netflix or HBO from outside of America, Smart DNS Proxy is the best bet. Well that's all for now. If you like this video, smack that like button. And if you aren't a subscriber already, subscribe man. What are you doing here? You're at the end of the video. As always, thanks for watching. I'm Famsy.